hydrogen. every box that we have today. Whoops. I'm really bad at, really bad at being nosy. But I don't get into them until I'm supposed to. And we have a slip. And we love these slips. Oh, this is from Kelly R. Kelly R. To Jackie, Racer, Volunteers, and all the paws. Please enjoy these goodies. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. And Kelly R. is little one mine. Thank you, thank you, Kelly R. Thank you, thank you. Little one mine. We've got fancy seeds. Oh, this is a kind we don't get very often. This is straight chicken. Cool. Chunky, chunky chicken even. You know, all the oldsters love the chickies. Oh, and 32. And these are the fillets. That's good. Um, Speedy was here. She brought us a bunch of pate things so we can mix the two textures together. That's the poultry one. And we've got the whiskers. This is the seafood one. So there's there's four packs of the whiskers and a 32 pack of friskies. And that's what Speedy brought this morning. Oh, and then the fancy piece chicken. Thank you. Thank you, little one. Little one mine. I wonder if little one was a name of one of your kitties. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Kurt, could you use this box? Maybe? A little too small yet? Watch out, kitties. Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate that so much. We like food. We like food for the kitties. This one is from Amazon. This is the one I, I spent a great deal of time shaking today. But I can't figure out what this one is. I think it, I, it's padded. Oh, that's why it tricked me. The box inside a box. And this one is also from Kelly, from Little One Mine. These are the Temptation Snackers. we got to see what color. Not that that really matters because Temptation of... Oh, these are those ones that these are cool. These are uh, the ones where there's four in one. Yep. Two yellows and two blues. Yep. We we saw these packed like this for Christmas time last year. So there's one, two, three, four. There's sixteen of the of the temptations. Thank you. Thank you, little one nine. You know we like these. And is that that uh, treat tower that we have? I've I've been using that almost every night, and the kitties really the kitties really like it. Thanks, Kurt. 
Picasso's already in the bigger box. Ooh. Ooh. Such a major decision. Which one to which one to open next? This is something heavy, but it's not as big as the box. Oh, it fooled me. Me. Oh, this is from from Laura H. This is Maddie. Remember, Maddie was here Monday with her mom. Um, uh, Laura is her first name, but it's Maddie, and her mom's name is Belinda. And they're the ones who brought a whole bunch of stuff for us um, when they came here. <laughs> okay, Badu, which way are you going? Don't knock anything over. That was Badu, and the first of each month. Medic always sends us something, and remember, I think it was two days ago, we got one box of fancy tea, so this is the second box from her. Thank you so much, Medic. I, uh, this was her and her mom's um, second visit here to us, so it's, I love having having you web cameras come. So we've got little one mine and Medic so far. Thank you, guys. Got to make sure our babies, babies have food. Oh, these all look interesting. Okay, now we're down to the ones not from, um, not from Amazon. Oh, this one's from Amazon? Oh, but it's little. I like the little ones last. We'll save the little of two for last. This one is, um, oh, now this, 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 this. These two boxes here is from two cats from New Jersey. Two cats from New Jersey. They told me that there was two boxes coming from Miles Kimball. And uh, we got them today. And I think you guys are on tonight. I know we talked to you a little bit earlier and told you that the boxes were here. So I'm pretty sure it's okay. Did you change the chat thing too? Yeah, it's easier to see. It's a whole lot easier to see. How'd you do that? Cool. Thank you, two cats. Two cats from New Jersey. And this is, I don't know, but we do have a toy already. We're going to be able to replenish the pity toy. Oh, yeah, that way, because it gets too crinkly up there. Whoa, I see some really cool stuff. We really do have toys. We really do. Two caps on. I'm sure that I'm sure they were going to be on. Check this out. This is a uh, another one of those kickeroo mice. You know, we a couple of you webcamers have sent these to us before, and um, they're filled with catnip, and uh, they crinkle, and the cats the cats love these. Oh yeah, there it is. There's the mousing on it. It's a Kong kickeroo. Hey, who wants this? You want that one? Who wants that other pet? Any anything that crinkles is their best friend. Oh, this is nice. This is the wrestling catnip. This is the bigger version. And uh, I'm gonna take this off. We had one sent to us months ago, and oh, a long time ago, and. The other day, I finally had to pitch it because they had so many holes in it. But they do. They actually grab it and kick the heck out of it. And what a cute little tail there, guys. There you go. Somebody will get it. Whoop, whoop. And advertisement. <laughs> this year, i got to tell you about this. I'm going to give this one especially to Donna. These are those um, skinnies for cats. They're stuffing-free, catnip-filled. This one <clears throat> is a forest in the forest series. Donna, the little bitty baby, black kitty, she had one of these this morning, and you would have thought she was a lion in disguise. I mean... She thought she was all big and bad, and every time any of the, even the big cats came around her, 
she was and she was running and Mary E and I this morning was laughing our heads off at her. She was a total goofball with it. Oh, I think she's in there. She's in her room for the night, so we'll give that to her for her bedtime fun. It's surprising what kicks off, you know, one uh, one kitty's fancy. This. I think we can get into this by here. Maybe. Oh, check this out. These are those, what do you call these? Emery Diamonds. I think it's called. These are nice. Well, here we go. Maybe the, the Emery Cat, Emery Cat board. These, I don't know if you've ever have used those before but on top of the the, the like corrugated uh, paper there or the board it's real stiff and so when they sharpen their claws on it it um, does a really good job we've had had one of those one time and I took it into Kitty City for the kitties and they they loved it and there's catnip in there, and you could tell because they rubbed and rubbed and slobbered on it. Those are nice. Thank you, two cats from NJ. Uh, this is also your, your box, I believe. There we go. We'll give that to the kitties tonight. Wow, we got more stuff here. Did that come with it? Oh. I'm not sure what this is, but it stuck. This one I couldn't get to shake at all. And that's why it's stuck. Ta-da! Hey, I'm sorry if I know this now. I'll get it cleaned up pretty soon. Try to see me at Christmas. Time for a while. I teach the grandkids how to be messy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a good cutter either. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, this looks like a. Uh, Something that Bella and Emmeline would like to take care of with their babies. Look at that. So now we'll have to call this one the fluff bed. So now we have the marshmallow bed, the, the marshmallow bed, the angel bed, and now the fluff bed. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much. Two cats from New Jersey. This is pretty cool. Wait till, wait till Emmeline sees this. Or she'll just soak in that with her babies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pretty cool. It looks really, really cozy. Oh, come on over. Come on over. You look good on that. Can I share it with you? We got a little, we got one that's a little damp on the bottom. We'll put it back up, okay? Right over done. This one is from wag.com from Kansas City, Missouri. I have no idea what's in this one. Oh, something we need very, 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 very much. And, oops, do we have a name? I don't see a name. Am I missing it? One of our most needed items. Kitty litter! Thank you, thank you. Kid, does somebody know who this is? Yep, anyone claiming it? You know, all this food we get it has to go has to be using the litter box. Anybody? Yeah, no, nothing on this one. 
Anybody going to claim it? Sure would like to know so we can tell them to say, oh, yeah, thank you. So I wonder if that's what's in this one. This is another, it's uh, Wade.com. It's from the Litter Fairy. <laughs> I like that. Oh, this is nice. Oh, this is really good food. Must have just been sat down in a little bit of the rain that we had today because the bottom of this is dry. This is that um, chicken chicken soup cat lovers chi or chicken soup for the cat lovers soul. You know those books? Good book. Good food. Adult cat food. Contains fresh fish, salmon, turkey, duck, and vegetables. The cats like this. I think I'll uh, put some of this in like for our breakfast stuff. I always, pick, I always pick all the extra special good stuff for breakfast. I'll keep a couple cans out for breakfast. So we don't know who sent that though, do we? Okay. Yeah, food and litter. Good, good combo. Okay, that's that. Are those yours? Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> and the bad part of it is I didn't even know they were mine. <laughs> And uh, we'll use two of those cans for their breakfast tomorrow. So thank you. Yeah, what goes in has to go out. So we need food and litter. Yes, uh, then we have. I guess I didn't know <laughs> I saw, I noticed them a couple of days ago, and I thought that those were yours. Yeah, those are my cheaters. <laughs> and this box is from Larry and Lisa G from Marble, Pennsylvania. Oh yeah. This one just says press firmly. Uh oh, who is that? Gromanik. You know, we get so many vaccines here, and you take it for granted that, you know, everything's always okay. But sometimes, you know, we do get one that's sick. Most of we get hundreds and hundreds of them. And they, they just don't have any reaction. Dominique oh, yeah. got one today. Just made her tummy a little bit upset, but she's going to be fine. Oh my gosh, these look cool. A gift from Roberta S. Now talk softly up here. Yeah. Check that out. Isn't that cool? Look at these. I've seen these at cat shows. They're they're kind of like the kickaroos. Look at these. These are awesome. They are stuff packed with. There's filling in there, and then catnip in every one of these. Yeah. Yeah. Chance are Chance are you the Roberta? These are cool. Fun to destroy. You got that right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Champ. This one says it's three blind mice. These are awesome. Oh, look at this one, the Hello Kitty. These are great. You know, last year when I went to that one cat show in, um, uh, by Toledo area, they had something like this, and I got a couple. The kitties loved it. Oh, here, listen, this kitty kicker. This is what the kitties are supposed to do. Hold the end with catnip. That's this end, and it definitely has got the catnip there. With your front paws, kick other end with all your might. Toss around and chase, or you can use as a pillow after all the exercise. And it's filled with fresh catnip and polyfill. That's cute. And there's, there's how, many, how many was in there? Potpourri patch. Stick your nose in our business. That is cute. Thank you, Chase. Thank you so, so much. These are cool. I'm going to... I'm going to put uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. We'll put five back, and I'll get out like two a week. And tonight we'll leave them have the kitty one and the pink one. 
about that. That's cool. And again, that's her card. Pretty cool card. I'm going to pick that up too. Here, who wants this one? Oh. Here you go, Butter. I know you like them. Emmeline. Or how about Twinkle? Twinkle. Gosh, I should make a mess. I love flipping things around, but then i got to go clean it all up. Okay, this one is from Gulf Coast Pet Supplies. And this one's Amazon. I think we'll do the save the smallest for last. Smallest for last. This has been an extra fun one. And this is the one at um, Gulf Coast from... Sarasota, Florida. Do we know who this one is? Oh. oh. <laughs> the Beloved Bonito Flakes. Oh, oh, I don't have a card on it. The ben Beloved Bonito Flakes. I used up two containers in the last, two of the small containers in the last two weeks. Yeah, the Catman Do, the Big Bag, Extra Large Dry Bonito Flakes. Do we know who sent these? Um, well, whoever sent them, you have a best friend, and that would be Octavia. Thank you, thank you. Maybe somebody will claim them. Yeah, that. Yeah, well, I think I better just put them straight in here. Octavia has a way of coming out of nowhere. She got. She got a little snacky tonight that was an extra one left the door open this one is a <clears throat> is an Amazon box oh I know who this is from this is from Speedy she told me there was a, I got my note up there a chili pepper toy yeah this is from Speedy Check this out cosmic catnip 100% filled with North American growing catnip Hot stuff. Strong, strong smelling fragrance. We better be careful. Look at that. They've never had a hot hot, hot pepper. Cool. Oh, gosh, that one's super, super strong. I wonder if Lilo would like, or Lilo would like that. Isn't that cool? Yeah, this one is from um, Speedy and Hubby. Do you want that, Lilo? Isn't that cute how she's, she knows to go up there to rest? She says, I am too tired. Wow. Thank you, guys. Or you're gone or something. Yeah, okay. she's around here somewhere. Yeah, you want this Linda Cody? Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, I've got some notes somewhere under all this. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Sorry, Kurt. I had it in. Oh, he's going to take my knife away from me. Yeah, catnip tea, I've heard that, is good for for your head cold. <laughs> no fear. I have a few notes for you. Um, Badu got that red collar last night, and we put that on her. I Paul pulled her down from up above the where she likes to sleep on top of the freezer over there. And she wasn't too happy being woke up from her nap and was a little bit cranky, and... We got her collar on, and but I had said that if she didn't like it, we were not going to make her put it or keep it on. And she's been fine; she's been perfectly fine. And so today, uh, this afternoon, we we had quite a few visitors, and we just told them, "Cat with the red collar, don't pat, don't touch." And I'm going to put a note out there, um, and that's only to give Badu space, and it's to make sure that little kids, big kids, people don't get bit by her. Um, so I think we're going to try that and see what happens. You know, she's doing better and better all the time with us. Um, we just, you just watch her and make sure that you listen, I guess you could say, watch what she's doing. When her eyes get big and her whiskers go back 
and she has a certain tone to that thing that she does. That means just stop. She's tired of it and just back off. And if you don't push her, she relaxes again. But it's nice. That we're going to try that red collar. She does not mind having a collar on at all. I guess we should also understand that just because she has a collar on doesn't mean she can't eventually be adopted, though, too. <laughs> Chris looking at me like, yeah, right. Uh, we had an adoption today. If you were watching this afternoon, McAllen, one of the little gold kitties, uh, Cinnabon's brother, got to go to a home with mom and three three daughters, three children. And uh, I, it was really cute because down here on the rug was the young youngest one or the second to the youngest who was sitting on the rug for a long time. And they had given me a list of like six names that of uh, kitties that they had read up on on uh, pet finders, and uh, and McAllen was on one of them. But the other three people were out looking around, and the little girl was sitting on the rug. And every time I go by, she still had the same kitty, and it was McAllen, and that he was on the list. So they decided that that was the one they needed to take. He was really soaking all that attention up. So I think it'll be good. Brand new cat owners. They've never had a kitty before. Even the mom, even when she was little, had never had a kitty before. But she read all of our information. We went over a whole bunch of stuff, and I think it'll. I think it'll be a good home. I have a man that called from Pennsylvania today. He's like four and a half, five hours away. He's very, very interested in jeepers. So we're going to hold Jeepers for a couple days till he figures out if that's what he wants to do and um, if he can make the drive. Uh, I don't think that long of a drive is any bother to him. So we'll see what happens. So for right now, we've got Jeepers on hold till we he decides what he's doing. I got a call today. Uh, the friend was a friend of mine. It's a friend of a friend that works at the vet's office is indeed very interested in CJ and she's seen her a couple times on the cam. She's actually was here, it's been probably two weeks ago now and uh, we, we're going to make that work. We're going to, I'll either take her to her to the vet's office or she'll, she'll come here too. So one way or the other we'll get CJ there. Um, today is, when is today? Wednesday. Uh, we should have that all worked out probably by the end of the weekend. I don't know if any of you guys were on this morning and watched um, Donna, you know, D-H-A-N-A. She is a nut. That little bitty kitty, she's in She's in her room, I think, for the night. i got to go in and count heads in there. But that little girl, she takes on those big cats, and when they get after her like she gets after them, she gives off these big yowls that sound like they come from a tiger and they back off from her and but if you go right over and pick her up she's just nothing but purr 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 so she is tough she was whipping in and out of here and running and playing and she's a nut I really really enjoyed her uh, we got our from Jack Cat in case any of you have not ever seen one of our pirate ships this is actually our third pirate ship that's been sent to the rescue center in the last um, year, and uh, oh, I see it was something we got to do is um, put the tape on all these connections. The cats love these. The kitties love them. They've been playing with this this afternoon. We, uh, Josh, one of our college students that helps us put it together. But the other two that we've had, the first thing that would come off is this, and then after a long time, this would get worn out and it would come off. And then eventually they poke holes in this, so then we would turn it over and instead of a ship, I think you guys called it a rowboat for a while, and then eventually we would just turn it over and then it became like a big mountain or a mound. Um, but they they love this. They've had so much fun with these things. And uh, who's in there? Cinnabon's in there. Brother of the one that was adopted. So we'll have that out tonight. And thank you, Jack Cat, for that. That's that's uh, that's been a really uh, over the times have been a fun toy for him. Uh, don't forget to vote. We're at 2.25, and I'm just I still look at that every day when I when I vote. I always still go to the results just because I like looking at it, and it's just. It's just really awesome to think that little old Defiance Ohio is is up there. It's just um, 
just tickles me. I just get a big kick out of it. And so don't forget when you're looking at the webcam on the bottom, there's a purple uh, kitty. So if you are new to us and haven't voted for us, if you go to that purple kitty and click on it, it'll take you to the animal rescue site and you can vote for us and we appreciate that. Uh, Speedy and her husband Eric was here today. They brought a whole bunch of frisky food that she works at Walmart and she got it on a really good sale. So we appreciate that. <clears throat> she also brought an orange tub that's way back there behind the boxes. And uh, she brought some plates, uh, a couple of different kind of plates and napkins and spoons, just a little variety of everything. Plus, we can use the litter or the container she brought in for a future litter box. So, um, Sage has slept all day. She's moved, but has been all day long. Sage, really, right here? We'll keep an eye on her. I know I saw her out and about this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Badu should be the official mascot for the pirate ship. How very, very true. Um, then Clem. I didn't want to mention this till we got the test done, but, you know, Linda, my volunteer that just left, uh, her webcam name is Clem. She was here earlier, later this afternoon, and was just visiting with the kitties and having a nice time. She got to visit with Speedy also. And uh, when it was time to leave, she drove on down the road. And down the road from here is our is our dam, the Power Dam, which is how we got our name. Water is just gushing over it right now, and she stopped to watch it a little bit. <clears throat> That's the only place she stopped. Then she went home, and when she got to her... Uh, the parking lot there where she lives she heard a meow so inside the hood was a cat so she turned around and came back here came in asked me to look at it she didn't think it was one of ours but wanted to make sure and indeed it is not one of ours so it's a new cat we just tested it right before we did boxes it's negative for FIV leukemia and heartworm it's a it, it's like I, well, it's kind of dirty, but we'll, we'll give it a bath tomorrow. It's a flame point. Uh, it's got the flame ears and face. I don't think it's got the flame point toes. I have, we'll look more when we do the bath, but he seems like a really nice cat. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. So we've got a new kitty, and uh, he's, uh, he's an adult. He looks like a young, young adult, super friendly, just really, really nice. And then the last bit of news I have, Carolina Ash, did you get my email? I'm going to see if you'll answer me. Did you just get me my email? Yeah. Did you tell everybody what was going on? <laughs> yeah, then they all come a-running a little bit. Well, now I don't know exactly how all this works, but uh, Carolina Ash um, got in touch with the uh, website known as Right This Minute, and she, if I, I might have some of this wrong, but I think that she sent them some clips of Bella to spark their interest in the rescue center. And they called me this afternoon. And they do want to put us on their, um, their they'll film us and they'll, they'll do a segment on us. So this is the way I understand how it's going to happen. We have to be on Skype. And so tonight... Uh, the lady who called me is going to send that information to Kurt to help him get us where we need to be for them to do a video. And then we'll do a interview, a 5-10 minute interview tomorrow. And uh, then they will air that on their site called Right This Minute. So I thought that was pretty cool. Am I moving upside down? Oh, it must be really choppy because I'm standing still. So we'll know more tomorrow. Uh, Kurt's going to do something about that because I know nothing about computers tonight. And then he'll set up, tell them when we're available to do uh, the interview tomorrow. So 
will be cool. And I do think that we have to turn this cam off for those five or ten minutes because it takes too much, what's that Kurt always says, broadband or whatever that is, away. So we'll get you back on air as soon as that's done. You can tell I don't know a whole lot about computers. Okay, so I think that's all, unless there's a super big interesting question. If, oh, yeah, Missa. While I was while I was gone today, um, a lady who's been very interested in volunteering for us, she's actually she's been here a couple times and is is just kind of starting the process of um, volunteering with us. But her biggest goal, I think, has been to be able to find a cat that she really likes and bonds with. And she's been waiting to find someone who will pick her. And I got a phone call while I was out checking my parents. Her, her first name is Diane. You might have seen her. She likes to come on Wednesdays. And she, um, she really got into Missa. And I guess more importantly, Missa really liked her and was all coochie coochie sweet with, with Diane and uh, was rolling on her back for Diane and just was really a sweetheart. So uh, Miss is going to uh, go go be adopted. So Miss is on hold. I just think that's awesome. You know, she she's going to pick her up somewhere around November 29th. So what is that date? Don't you knock that off of there. November 29th is uh, Tuesday, just so in case somebody doesn't know what, who Missa looks like right now. That's Missa. She's a good girl. Missa, this is, this is what's unbelievable. She's one of our oldest, she's one of our cats that has been here the old, longest that is available to be adopted but hasn't, uh, is still here. She originally came here when she was just seven weeks old. She was a baby. And she arrived here May 6th of 2008. Her birthday is March 18, 2008. So she's been with us a little while. And then... Missa... I'm trying to remember all this. Missa was adopted. So she came here... May 6th of 08, she was adopted the very first time, March 4th of 09, and three days later they returned her. And if I remember right, they returned her because they decided they didn't want to do the cat thing, they, that cats wasn't for them. So she was here for then a year and four months, and she was adopted again in July on July 13th, 2010. And uh, that was last year, and I don't have a return date back on that for some reason, but I know she didn't stay there very long. Um, but I think this will be good. Diane will just love her to pieces, and this is awesome. I love her. She's a real sweetheart, and when she's picked someone, uh, she, she can really give you a big heart. She's a good girl. So November 29th, it looks like, is Mrs. Go-Home Date. So I'm real. I'm really happy for. Her. We'll miss her. She's been here, been here a while. So I think that that's all that I have, and uh, I'm gonna clean up my mess. I do this all the time. I make a mess and then I have to pick it up. But oh well. So thanks everybody, and uh, I'm so glad you guys are joining us. And uh, we'll keep trying to keep the sound on as much as what we can. We've been doing it a lot lately. So we'll talk to you all later. Thank you, everybody. Is you rocking the boat? Huh? Okay, you guys. We got a lot of cleanup to do. I like making messes, but don't like picking it up. Look at this place. You guys, it looks like a tornado went through here. Who's doing that? 
Now I get off. Who are you doing that? And why? Oh. <laughs> Do. Here's something else. You are something else. The good thing you're so cute. We love you.